Yo, scrawny with the skinny, back with a fantasy land, but I'm under the weather at the moment. Um, I'm quite sick, but since I didn't end up posting a fantasy land for the ESL Pro League playoffs, um, due to the short turnaround in between Group D and the playoffs and, and my responsibilities in Malta and whatnot, I missed one. So uh, couldn't let that happen twice. This is super last minute, but at least if you check my YouTube before uh, before showdowns start tomorrow, you'll be able to see this. But it's it's going to be very short and to the point. I just I just kind of want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, appreciate the support. Appreciate y'all understanding. Sorry I missed one. Yada yada yada. Um, I ended up pulling off something miraculous in Malta. The Shuhei Eco pick with the double Astralis. I mean, after the first game of playoffs, I lost two players. I thought I was doomed. Luckily, Blame F was still kind of worth the money, and luckily there was so many other teams that flopped that this ended up being in a top 11. Um, yeah. Entz, what up? Shui, what up? So, top 11, got some points. Floating in sixth at the moment. Not too far out of first. Feels like everything's possible. Everything is possible at the moment. Got to stay focused. Got to stay sharp. And the showdowns are where, in the past, I've made great calls. And in the past, I've made horrible calls. Uh, last season of Fantasy, the America's RMR and the Blast NA showdowns were my worst fantasy events. I have a hard time getting points out of the America's region. So, fingers crossed, we can change that trend today. Um, the one thing I banked on last time we did showdown is just teams that thrive in online environments, right? This is such an anomaly of an event, especially now because it's on CSGO as well. Um, some teams are going to have already started practicing CSGO, uh, CS2, whatever, whatever, man. It's, it's, it's so, it's so bizarre, um, trying to think about how this is going to go down, but I'm going to give you the gist of it. All right. I think Ents beat Alliance. I think big beat nine. I'm actually going to be backing big in the EU showdown. I'm going to be backing big. And down on the bottom half, G2 or Cloud9. Um, obviously, Cloud9 rumored to be having an in-game leader switch. The roster is going to change. Hobbit just had his worst event ever. There's a lot of reason to doubt Cloud9. And less so to doubt Ents. But um, I just think on a personal level, the Ents guys don't really give a damn. Um, that's not like some insider knowledge or anything. It's just I don't think Ents are, are like... I don't think Ents is a team that translates successfully online. Nerds is somebody who gets hard hit by that. I think Snappy is somebody who starts to play pretty carelessly online. And I think that Big are going to be really looking to make the most of uh, this qualifier. You know, we always say Big is best at Blast. And the last showdown was a Big and Cloud9 Grand Finals. So I'm going to say Big, Ents, Cloud9, G2, Big, G2. That's a tough one, but I'm going to say G2. And uh, and then big beat them and take the whole entire thing. Yeah, crazy. Sorry, guys. Super low energy. Um, <laughs> but here we are. Uh, the America's RMR or the rest of the world showdown, excuse me. We've got... Uh, now, this is a weird one because Daps is in, right? And Rain Waker's out. But Liquid have such an easy side of this bracket. I don't put much stock in Party Astronauts. I don't put stock in Imperial because they just brought back Lucas 1, who hasn't played an official in over a year. So Daps hasn't played for more than a year. Lucas hasn't played for more than a year. They're going to be facing off in the semifinals. I'm just going to give it to Liquid. I think the Europeans on that team and OC are just going to show up and kind of dismantle. Um, I think they're going to be very aggressive, very confident that they can at the very least get to the grand final. Um, so I feel like liquid is a must take, even though it's such a cir it's such a set of circumstances that would lead you to just not want anything to do with the draft. I feel like you have to, because they will be here in this grand final, as far as I'm concerned. Evil Genius's complexity is a scary game, dude. EG could make this upset happen. I think complexity are a bit overrated. I mean, they're also very good at the moment, so maybe overrated is not the right word. Um, but they're expensive in terms of fantasy goes. You know, Floppy's never been 212,000 before. And then there's Furia versus Legacy. This is Cold Zero's team where, you know, Furia have just been flopping harder and harder. So to me, I'm going to go Complexity versus Liquid in the Grand Final. And at that point, dude, honestly, oh, tough call, bro. I think you could give it. I'm just going to say Complexity because they are a full five roster and they're not playing with a coach. Uh, they should. This should be their moment to surpass Liquid as the North American team, right? If Liquid are coming back as an NA core. Let's see it, Complexity. You're the real team. You're the bigger deal. Let's go. 
So coal furia, liquid coal, coal take the whole thing. Sorry guys, I'm not gonna go through the base, you know the usual like uh, draft and pick. I'm just gonna show you my teams and how I have them set up. I'm not gonna show you multiple rosters this week either. Uh, apologies again, but I feel like shit. So I think Crimbo has proven himself as Big's most successful player. And then there's a conversation between Prosis and Sin. Now, with Prosis versus Sin, it's a $1,000 difference at the moment between the two of them. But I like Prosis on Headshot Machine. Huge activation rate on that one. The Cloud9 versus G2 game is a bit of a toss-up for me, but because they have a layup for their first round, I'm thinking JKS and Hooksy as their affordability is right on par. And Axile's 210. He's the highest rated player for Cloud9 as they've been playing online games lately. That's something uh, I also put stock in. Cloud9 have been playing online qualifiers. Big have been in some online games. Um, more reason to have three-fifths of this team leaning to these onliners. Uh, and then a little, you know, JKS hooksy sprinkle. I feel like most people are going to draft G2 and Ents. But seeing as I'm going to avoid Ents, I could try to avoid both and go like big cloud nine. But I don't see a reason to go too risky when I can just risk half of the draft and, uh, you know, at the very worst, finish somewhere in the top 30 or so. Now, NA. Ugh, this one's so tough, dude. I really don't know who to draft. Uh, again, right? Like I said, these ones kind of have like a certain, there's a certain bad omen around NA matchups for me and NA fantasy events, but this is what I've thrown together. OC and Patsy. OC's been looking super sharp. Easy points on the main op. I'm really not inspired by the Patsy draft, but again, I'm just being real with you guys. If you have a hunch, if you have if you have some kind of inkling as to where you think this is go, don't trust me on this one. I have a bad track record with the NAs. I'm just trying to get a mid team that's going to you know get me through this without zero points. Um, Liquid's run is so easy. It feels like you have to have two. I highly recommend avoiding Daps. I know he's less expensive, but the guy hasn't played a game for over a year, and it's not like he you know retired to coaching on a high note. Uh, cello also sketchy, but the affordability of this of this event kind of leads me back into him. Um, and I always believed in cello and online Counter Strike. I think he's always had really good showdowns. I think somebody who you know maybe. Maybe Cello will be paying it off. And then, you know, Grim versus Halzerk are the two that you can afford in terms of good complexity players. JT is going to be your eco pick. Uh, you can go for Halzerk, but because I'm playing OC, like I could definitely see a draft where you go Yakinder, Patsy, Halzerk, JT. Um, but I'm just putting it on NA, baby. I'm giving OC a shout out with this one and Grim a shout out with this one instead of going European, right? Because you could just, again, this could be like a four. This could be three Europeans on this lineup if you went Yakinder and. Alzerk, but um, yeah, man, that's all I got for you guys. I'm sorry. Low quality, low energy. I'll be casting the showdowns. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll be casting the showdowns with Mohan. Excited for that. Um, see you there.